Dean Heil. Here we go. Dean Heil. Brad Anklin, his opponent in the green is going to be Nathan Tomasello. I have 2008 Olympian Andy Rovat joining me. Andy, give people a little bit of, little bit of Andy treatment. We've got an eagle out there right now. Yep. Alright, little guys, Andy, what did you start out as? Uh, 145. 145, so you're a big guy all, life, all your life, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Never knew how it was to be this small. Alright. And I haven't seen a high school wrestling match in probably a couple, three years. Are you going to forget like all the rules and stuff? I know. Kind of, that's okay. Alright, so we've got Heil, the freshman, Tomasello, the freshman. These guys are both going to be ranked, I think, number one in their division. Tomasello, I think, number one, not 103 in the state of Ohio, the freshman. And then Heil will be first or second. Depending if he uh, can avenge his loss to the Crosstown, St. Ignatius Wildcat, George D. Camillo. And uh, finals the Ironman. And he's going to be asking a lot of questions because he's back <laughs> in the scene. Uh, two on one for Thomas Sullo. He's got the wrist tie. Ben Arm Russian two on one. There's a lot of Russian two on ones in Russia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, yeah, pretty much. They wrestle out of position. That's pretty much all they do. Yeah. That's why they're a lot of ties. They, they wrestle out of position. Crazy. Oh, out of position. Yeah. Very good at wrestling out of position. All right. 49.3 seconds left. First period. High on the top of High on the red ankle at the St. Edward Eagles. Big, big feet. This is big feet for a little dude. Thomas Sullivan takes a shot. He's on his knees still. Now we're back up. Now right, we got the back side of this rough right now. As he moves. Someone's got to take a shot out there. Yeah, you got to get some offense going. Nice fake by Hyle. Another half shot. No real uh, attacks yet, right? No, not, not yet. Yeah, Hyle's got the underhook, no head position though. On the edge of the mat, 12 seconds left, first period. We're going to be off the mat. When are we going to see Andy Rovat in the MMA? Never, probably. Never? Okay. Yeah, probably not. What happens if this, if you give you 40 grand to fight? Then we'll see him tomorrow. <laughs> All right, the first period, no score, we're tied, 0-0. Oh, oh. It's gonna be high, I'll he's gonna go down right away, he wants the first points. Solid H, when it was your decision, the disc flip went your way, what do you normally want to do, defer or go down right away? Go down right away. Get that point out At of the way. At least in high school, and in college, I didn't like going down, I didn't like it out. <laughs> That's the hardest game I've ever been ridden. Probably a lot in college. That was a nice breakdown. Nice breakdown. Uh, you, you see, now you don't see as many mat returns in high school. Oh, nice. He almost out of it. There's a loss of control. 1 0 lead. Kyle, St. Edward. Kyle takes a shot from space. Someone's got to really commit to something that's going to be tied one to one. I think a lot of these guys, these, you know, these guys that have been wrestling each other since they were little kids, I think they feel each other out a lot, you know, like there's no real commitment like you said. It's kind of like, oh, let's see who does what. I noticed that a lot. Kyle's taking more half shots, definitely. A lot more half shots. We're off the mat. Back to the center. 54.1 seconds left in the second period. Kyle Tomasello, two of the top 103s in the country. To the top 103s in Ohio, both top 20 guys. Tomasalo, he's deep on a shot, tries to crack him down. I was trying to sit the corner. Sure, 35 seconds left. Oh, he let his shoulder slip out. It looks like it's going to be Hiles point. Hiles score. I think Hiles has stepped over that back leg. He's got control. Dean Heil, 
Rio lead. He was in deep. He was in deep too. Well, he left that. He left that cold. Yeah, he left that. Lost that shoulder position. You guys work on that a lot. Not losing uh, that shoulder position. Yeah, not so much. It's hard to take crack down, high crotch and freeze down. Well, yeah, because nobody wants to give their back up. Yeah. Kyle, Rio lead, going into the third. Thomasella's choice. I think he's going to go down. CBCA top three team in the state of Ohio in Division Three. Obviously, the Eagles looking for big numbers, 14 in a row this year. Uh, they've already run away with this tournament. They could have had a nobody show up for the finals, and they still would have got the team title. So on each probably would have taken it back to Colorado with them. He just made me feel old. 14 years ago was my junior year of high school. The last time you guys did that. was the first time we won it. Yeah, the first one in a row, but you guys won a bunch before that. Yeah. What is it, 24 titles? 25. 25. I love that you still know that. Well, no, they just had a ceremony against the, at the Ignatius match. Were you home? No, I, was in, I just got done with the camp in uh, Colorado, in, uh, Oklahoma State. A minute 38 left in the third period here. 3 0 lead, Dean Heil. He's up on Nathan Tomasello. 3-0. 3 -zero, check it. Got another eagle coming up at 112. Check the hometown. It's a nice ride, breaking him down, stopping his motion. Yeah, like, I want to hear you talk wrestling, man. You know more, you forgot more wrestling than I know. Oh, I don't know a lot of top-bottom stuff, though. That was never my specialty. But he has control of them pretty good. It's never any Ohio kid's specialty. Yeah. But do you think we're, uh, we're changing? Are we getting better as college kids? Yeah. Uh, you know, coming in, having a better uh, mat, mat wrestling awareness, things like that? Yeah, I think more so. It's just more people with all the stuff on the internet, they know what they need to do. You know, we're like, you could be in like a little bubble and not really know too much college. And now that, you know, there's so much stuff on the internet with flow and you know, YouTube that you had to... You have a grasp of what you really need to work on. Yeah, like if you are scouting Eastern Pennsylvania, you know, the week before the duel, and you go and watch two duels that they had, maybe one against, you know, Northampton or something like that, or, or you know, what, whoever it may be, they're wrestling in the area, Central Mountain, not in the area, but in Pennsylvania. You go and you watch those matches, they let them ride like college. Oh, yeah. In Ohio, our, our officials tend to call the top guy for stalling. I'm sure. To me, it's boring. If you're just riding somebody just to ride them, it's pretty boring. It's not wrestling. I think it's funny because a lot of people think freestyle is boring, but watching somebody just sit on top of somebody is not really that fun to me. 45 seconds left. Uh, Thomas up to his feet. Great chain wrestling there by Kyle. Kyle's dominated the match so far. I mean, he did score up uh, a deep shot by Nathan Thomas Although 32 seconds left. Keeps pretty good pressure on him. He's got really good. He's our, uh, I've been watching Kyle. Uh, it's like the third match I've watched here at the MIT, and I watched him a lot at the, the Ironman. He's very good on top. I had three of his matches in it. There's two of his matches in the duels and a quad earlier in the year. I've seen him wrestle about. Uh, eight matches this year, and he's just pretty tough. You know, he's a, 103 is always a, you know, a freshman, sophomore dominated weight class, but it's pretty exceptional. Miles going to hang on, 10 seconds left here. Now they're in the crackdown. He's kind of trying to scoot the corner, not going to matter even if he gets the reversal. Not gonna matter. Nope. Uh, Dean Hiles gonna win it. First MIT title. 103 pounds. Dean Hiles, Dean Edwards. From St. Edward. Dean Hiles.